<laughs> what up people this is Bonjo. look at that storm just brewing look at this the contrast here nice clear kind of cloudy blue skies dark but anyways we're getting into this video it's five things I love about Croatia the five things I love about Croatia I already did a video stating the things that I don't like about Croatia which was a little bit of satire and not to be taken too serious but some people you know they take it serious they protect their country they get mad they see the title and they're like what does this guy hate my country is perfect my people are perfect you know before they even watch the video and if they finish the video they might see what it was actually about but instead they complain before it even happens but that's that life of youtube you know people don't get through it they'll take the first initial statement that you don't like and then ding you for it and really get you for it you know but we're getting into this five things I love about Croatia. So let's go. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share, and always comment. We love hearing from you. We love hearing from you. So let's get in here. I'm going for a little strut down the beach here in Oak Hill Gorney. And it's a beautiful day. But the seagulls are saying run away. The first thing I love about Croatia is the location. Location, location, location. Like a real estate agent, right? But what do I mean by location? Well, I mean, of course, on this beautiful Adriatic Sea and on the island of Chiova. <laughs> but that's not what I mean exactly with this point. I mean travel-wise. Travel-wise. I'm going to be making a video about this shortly, but it's based on how do you get cheap flights and why is Europe the best location for cheap flights and travel? Like, we're in such a good location. We're beside Italy. We're beside all these places. And from Zagreb, you can literally catch a flight to Greece for 30 euros. To England for 18 euros. We're going to Vienna for, I think, what is it? 40 euros each. So, actually, not even 40 euros. I think 33 euros. So, it comes out to 105 with taxes and seat choices and stuff. So, wow. You know? Wow. The cheap, cheap air flights. And uh, it's all because of the location. Like if you're in Canada and you want to go to Austria, you're paying what? At least 700 euros for a ticket to go up there and back, right? And here it's 30 euros for there and back. So that means return flight, not one way, a round trip. So that's crazy. Location here is insane. And honestly, like it costs more to take a bus from Hamilton where I'm from to Toronto the cap uh, not the capital of uh, Canada but the capital of Ontario I guess you could say ah huh? is it I don't know who knows right correct me if I'm wrong I I've been away from Canada for five years so I kind of forget all my Canadian knowledge but yeah you to take a go bus from Toronto to Hamilton I think it's I think it's probably about 30 bucks nowadays I'm not sure but you can literally get on a plane and go to England a different country you know how crazy that is we went to what Malta for 20 euros we went to Italy for 18 you know what I mean you know what I mean location 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 it's beautiful here and like look at our location this is in front of our house how beautiful is this right just looking at this every day where I'm from in Hamilton ugh. I love Hamilton. I love my people from Hamilton. But, man, you've been breathing in all that factory dust. Like, you hang your clothes on the line in Hamilton to dry after they've been washed. You gotta wash those suckers again because those whites will turn black from all the, the factory dust so and all the pollution. Here, you really don't get that. It's better for you after asthma, right? But my asthma has gotten a thousand times better since leaving. And it's all because of this location. So location, location, location. Beautiful, beautiful. We're seven minutes from the airport, seven minutes from town. We're on the sea. White House could be better. Life is a dream. <laughs> so I forgot to film the second point. So I'm back here filming the second point. The second point, the second thing I love about Croatia, look at this beautiful morning though. It's the morning here, 8 a.m. We're rocking, we're ready to go here. But the second thing i love about croatia is the traditional values now the traditional values they believe in church they go to church every morning i mean every sunday not every morning that's wild imagine going to church every morning but no they go to church every week they go to mass they do all this thing like we bought a car recently and um he's like you should usually 
bring a mechanic to check out the car before you buy it to make sure it's good. He's like, but you don't have to with mine. I'll, I'll help you out. I'll, if anything goes wrong, I'll fix it for you. I'll get everything sorted. If you, when you need new tires, I'll help you. So shout out to Yvonne for being a, a stand-up citizen. But the thing that he said to me was, he's a man of God. So he doesn't believe in ripping people off. He's like, I'm a Croatian man. We go to church, we believe in God. So we don't do that kind of stuff here. So that's crazy. And another thing is, they don't get involved with all the, the wokeness of the rest of the world, like uh, the LGBTQ++ stuff. They don't do all that. And it's pretty nice. Like they're open-minded, but they believe in God. They believe in going to church. They believe in family values. Getting married at a church is the number one thing. You gotta get married. If you don't get married, by the time you're like 40, they kind of start questioning your life decisions. But yeah, everybody here is family oriented and all that stuff about church is the reason why. So that's probably why it's so safe and uh, well run here and just great because I think the traditional values go a long way in the West, in Canada and America. We've kind of lost those traditional values in most parts especially in England like half of them are atheists and I think it really shows in society but that's just me I'm not the most religious guy but I do believe in it I believe in the traditional values of religion because the morality of it it keeps everybody in check and everybody trying to do better in life and that's just a fact look at all the places that don't believe in religion it's true it's crazy it's crazy you know and I, I don't go to church so I'm kind of a hypocrite in a way but I'm gonna, I might start going, who knows, but when Enzo starts getting his communion and going to school, he doesn't want to be an outcast, so we're gonna have to bring him to church with the rest of the boys and girls. And yeah, so traditional values is the second thing on my list. You just gotta, if you haven't lived somewhere that still has traditional values, come here and experience it. It's amazing. Number three on the list is the people, the culture, the history. And if you want to know about the history, I'm not gonna bore you guys that don't wanna know about the history, but besides the war in the 90s, the Yugoslavia war in the 90s, there's actually more history. You got the 40s, you got before that. Croatia is a very old country, one of the oldest countries, especially in Yugoslavia. So do your history on that and leave comments below and tell me what you found out about the history. It's very interesting, very interesting. Leave comments below for that. But the people, I already said in a previous video, the people, I love the people. They're my kind of nice. They're just, uh, sometimes they say hi, sometimes they don't. If they got something to say, they'll say it. If not, they're not gonna bore you with small talk. They come off rude, but I'm telling you, once you get in that inner circle, it's okay. They're very nice. They like to joke around, nothing serious. They're not woke. They're not par part of that woke culture, that woke agenda with all the LGBTQ plus plus ZYX Chelsea FC, you know, all those guys. It's not part of that. So the people, the people, I tell you, they're, they're nice and they stay to themselves. And I like that. And I really like that. So the culture, okay, the culture, the culture is a little bit different here. Because like every country, you go to the east, you go to the west, you go to the north. They all have a little bit different culture, right? And that's a no difference in Croatia. So if you go to the north, I would say Slavonia is my favorite part of the culture. They have like the pekkas, they have all that, the better meat. You go up there, they'll do all the dances and the songs and the oh, yeah, 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 dancing in circles with their traditional suits. They do that in Dalmatia too, but only for tourists. Like you see the bands, uh, traditional bands playing at restaurants and you know, looking for tips and that kind of stuff. And that's cool too. Dalmatia also has traditional stuff like fish is more of the cuisine down here and meat is more of the cuisine up there. So you get, you get kind of both. I like a little bit of both. And I think more people should go to the north, like especially Slavonia, like Osijek, Slavonski Broad, all these places are, que bueno papi. You know, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful places. The culture, the people, the history. Comment below if you ever experienced any of these. And let me know your experience below. We're moving on to the fourth thing I love about Croatia. Now look at this. You'll find these all over the Dalmatian coast. I think they were used to block the wind, to have like a farmer's fields, kind of like 
grow trees, olive trees, and all these kind of things to protect it from the sea and the salt water? I'm not sure, but hey, that's my guess, right? But the fourth thing, the fourth thing I love about Croatia is, you'll be surprised. Now wait for it. Wait for it. What was that? Yeah, the health care. I'm from Canada, and we're renowned for our health care. You know, everybody brags about Canada's free health care. You know what I mean? Well, you know, here, here I must say, okay, sure, you know, you got to pay for it if you don't have a job. 97 euros a month, right? That's for the basic one. Or you can pay like 103 euros a month per person. And that's the high one. That means you get everything for free, though. So if you pay like six euros more, you get everything for free. You need a, you need a cavity fill, you need an operation, all that stuff for free. Medication, all that stuff for free. I'm telling you, all of it for free. And in Canada, a lot of things just aren't free. They say it is, but it just ain't free. You know, it's just not like that. And if you come to Croatia and you have a job, your job pays for your insurance automatically. So. They pay for it, so you get free health care. So it's like free, like free dental. Like, even if you have health care, like free health care does not include your teeth in Canada because that's considered cosmetic. Cosmetic. And if you go to the States, well, I don't even want to get started with the USA. The USA health care is, man, if you break your leg, you got to either replace it with a piece of wood or pay like 25000 you know, go in debt for the rest of your life. But here, I'm telling you guys, it's so cheap. That's why it's known for cheap dentistry. Everybody from around Europe comes to Croatia to get their teeth fixed. And I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys, it's really good. I don't care what you guys heard. You're hearing it from me. It's great healthcare. The hospitals have brand new equipment, brand new stuff. Ugh. Really, really top notch. I think so. I think so. Okay, I've been, I've been to the General Hospital a thousand times in Hamilton. I'll tell you this, it's gruesome sometimes in that baby. It's like, it's like, damn, I'm gonna go fix myself outside. You know, it's like filled with like, <laughs> I don't even want to get into that. But yes, the healthcare here is que bueno, papi, que bueno. That's the fourth thing I love, the healthcare. Because the healthcare with your insurance is included with your dentist and everything. And if you pay the higher level one, which is only six euros more than the basic one, you get everything for free, including medication. Now, how wild is that? And if you need the doctor, if you need a medication like an inhaler refilled, you got to get a dentist, a doctor's appointment, and then they got to send a note to the pharmacy. You can't just go to the pharmacy and grab whatever you want. You have to go to the doctor and ask for it, in which they usually do it. So, yes, healthcare. Very good, Croatia. Keep it up. I'm back on the beach out here, but we're getting to the final thing. The fifth thing I love about Croatia has to be the safety the safety okay you know what i'm gonna go over here and kind of sit on this brick wall this uh put together brick wall i can imagine some drunk dita did it to protect his crop and there's the gate to it and just never panned out for him but uh yeah the safety the safety here is unreal unreal i'm not saying that because i live here Actually, I should keep this quiet because I don't want none of y'all coming because y'all make it dangerous. <laughs> but the safety is unreal here. When you think of Croatia, a lot of think about war-torn, uh, eastern part of Europe, the Balkans. And if you know the Balkans, it's it gets pretty wild down here sometimes, right? But it's not like that. It's like I can leave my paddle boards, my car unlocked every day of the night. Every day of the night. I'm not saying I do it because, you know, there's still probably that chance that some tourists will come along and try to scoop something to be funny or whatever but yeah you can leave everything everything unlocked you can fall asleep on the beach with money in your pockets and wake up with money on your pockets <laughs> you know it's crazy it's crazy and, and not to mention for the kids the kids family family life it's just so safe for a family to have a child and for him to grow up in croatia enzo is privilege i'll just say this even if we don't have lots of money even if we'd never get rich even if we were broke poor and we had to live in a tent he would be lucky to grow up here this is a beautiful environment for a child like you got to see the wilderness and education you got europe you got everything here it's so safe for a family and hey i consider us lucky as heck but i hope you liked that video um what things do you love about Croatia? If there's any, uh, comment below. And don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share. This is Boncho.
you know, check it out. Check out the rest of my videos. I got lots of videos about everything, right? Check them out. Buy some merch. Buy This Is Bonjour. Donate to my PayPal at thisisbonjour at gmail.com. Do everything you can to help out the channel. We need help. And you, if you guys want to keep watching, so donate and help. Or click like and subscribe.